today we're in Austintown, Ohio at the Quaker Steak and Loop, the custom bike show. We're going to be checking out some old bikes, some new bikes, some custom bikes. They're all here tonight at the custom show. I'm Rick Guerrero for Street Scene. Let's go inside and check some of these babies out. I have Daniel Hall with me, marketing, uh, marketing man, manager. manager here at Quaker Steak and Loop here in Austintown, Ohio. Hey, yes. thanks for getting this together with us. This oh, really no, thank neat. you guys. We love having different people out from the local community and just showing off what they have and getting out in the biker community and giving us something fun to do. So how, how long have you been doing this? I've been doing marketing for almost two years now here for Quaker Steak and Loop. And it's been a fun adventure, to say the least. Uh -huh. <laughs> do you have a bike? No, I don't have oh, a bike, okay. but I'm looking to get a Vespa. So. Oh, those are neat. Yeah, are neat. more my style, not too uh, fast. Uh, yeah, <laughs> good on gas. Absolutely. So how many bikes are you expecting to uh, show up here tonight? Um, we're looking to show up hopefully around 1,200 bikes tonight. Mm -hmm. um, just with the storms and everything that are around, I think that'd be a pretty good turnout for us. We have the Dennis Drummond Group. Sounds good. Thank yep. you, thanks for having us here. Oh, thank you for being here. Welcome to Armstrong's uh, street scene. I'm standing with uh, Ron Robinstraw from Canfield, Ohio with his 72 Super Glide. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a 72 Super Glide custom. It's been uh, changed uh, so many times over the years. This was the first year that uh, Harley made, uh, or AMF, AMF made right. Harleys, and everything has been changed. I don't think there's a single AMF piece on it anymore. How about this? Let's start off the front end here. Sure. See, see what we got going on here. You got a Springer front end on it? Yeah, about a month and a half ago, for the last 20 years, I wanted a Springer front end on this. I finally was able to afford it, bought all the parts and pieces. Uh, Youngstown Cycle Supply ordered the parts for me, and they even allowed me to put it on. I was able to use their shop one day. I installed it all myself, and uh, it's a DNA Springer, wide glide Springer, six inch over, overstock. It's got a uh, disc brake on it. I used to have an old drum brake on it, the old stock drum but I got a disc brake now that actually works. How's it work? Work pretty good? Works really good. Really good. A lot better so you gotta than the watch, old drum. You gotta watch it doesn't work too good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, used to, I used to race motorcycles when I was younger, and I always had my front brake just so it slows me yes, down. Yeah, so like, you know, yeah. Yeah, you don't want to go with the handlebars. That would hurt yeah, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and how about the headlights? That, um, Headlight just came with the kit. Uh, this uh, DNA put the, the whole kit together, the whole front end with the um, uh, handlebars, the fork, as well as the uh, the headlight. I love the headlight. It's huge. It's mm -hmm. really nice. So it's all halogen and all that, so it's real bright. Yeah, as long as they see you coming the other way there, huh? That's exactly How right. How about the engine? This doesn't look like the stock engine. The engine, it's a, it's a shovel head, but this is an SNS high-performance shovel. It's a, it's a new engine based on the old design, so it doesn't leak oil. Uh, it's 1,650 cc, so it's got a lot of horsepower. I've got a little cam in it. So uh, it's, it's quite torquey. It gets up and moves. And if, uh, if you ever get a chance to take a look at the side, I've got an SU carb on it. 
And if uh, the old uh, old Jaguars had old, old Jaguars, Jaguars. Oh, yeah, old English. Those were all nightmares. <laughs> yeah, I've had really good luck with it. It's an old SU carp. It's always been on the bike, and I've, I've stuck with it. It's a nice carp. You know how to mess with it? You know how to? Uh, I've tweaked it a little yeah. bit, and it's been running so good. I don't touch it. Uh -huh. I leave everything alone. As long as it doesn't, you know, if it stops working, then I work on it. If it's running well, I don't touch it. It's been great. It even has the old points. Okay. So it doesn't have uh, electric uh, uh, ignition or anything. It's it's got electric start, but it actually runs points on this engine. It looks really good. How about the paint job on it? Who did this for you? Guy Shively, uh, a couple of blocks away from here on uh, Victoria Road. Guy's Graphics. Uh, I talked to him about three years uh, about the paint job and what I wanted. Took pictures and everything. Finally, it took. He told me, Ron, quit telling me what you want. I took all the parts and pieces over there. He sandblasted everything. He said, come back in two weeks and I'll have the paint job. He calls that color Ron's Red. It's kind of yeah. like a maroon. Uh -huh. He says, we can never rematch that. He okay. says, that's Ron's Red. And then he went with the old classic uh, flames. And the uh, guy does a fantastic job on the paint. You know, guys, he does a really good job. We're going to get him on Street Team one day. We've been oh. trying and trying. We thought we were going to get him this year, but we didn't. Yeah. We're going to get him. Fantastic so guy. many people have used him. Yeah, uh, great painter. Been great. around forever. Uh -huh. Internationally known for his pinstriping. Uh -huh. He's just fantastic. So this is a, how many miles you got on this new engine? Oh, you know, I've got uh, almost 12,000 on this tachometer, or on this speedometer. But, uh, you know, I can't even venture a guess. It's, I've had it for 25 years. This has been my only bike. How about and the, new, the new engine? The engine is around, um, it's around 16 years old. So it's, I would classify that as a new engine, okay. you know, but oh, it's, okay. it's uh, yeah, it's been in there for around 16 years and I've had great luck with it. It's been really good. s, &S makes great equipment. Okay, how fast have you had it? That's one of my <laughs> favorite questions. I have to ask that. Uh, this kind of bike is not for speed. This is oh. for cruising, but you can oh. cruise at 100 on it. Uh, <laughs> but you got to hold on real tight. Because oh, yeah. you notice I don't have a windshield or anything like that. In 100 miles an hour, you got to hold on pretty tight. Way right back when, when I had my sports car, I had mine up to 110. Oh, yeah. And, and everything's just like, whoa. Oh, oh yeah. I just squint. I said, okay, that's enough. Yeah, I don't I don't need my glasses uh -uh. wrapped around my yeah. face. That's, that's plenty fast yeah. enough. Now, I like cruising. I'm, I'm comfortable at 45. I don't even like riding freeways and stuff. I like doing back roads and... Columbiana County, get up to uh, like uh, go up right up to uh, Geneva on the lake, that kind of stuff. Just nice cruising rides. I'm standing next to a 1998 BMW Bob Junoski from Beaver Falls. Beaver Falls, BA, yes. This is interesting. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, it's different. It was uh, BMW's attempt to make a cruiser bike for the American man. It's air cooled, 1200 cc's, five speed with a drive shaft. It's, uh, it's got ABS brakes on it. It's, uh, it's a beautiful machine. My uncle bought it brand new. I rode with him for 20,000 miles. Wow. He's going to be 83 years old in a week, and uh, it was getting too much for him, so I bought him a scooter. And I, I rode a Goldwing for 11 years, and I didn't want to. I wanted to keep it, but he told me to take this home and sell it. Went out on the way home. Someone it, huh? No, someone pulled out in front of me. Oh. I had a jam on the brakes. I couldn't believe how the stopping power that this has. So I thought I'd better get it just for safety reasons. Yeah. It's like a, it almost looks like an, uh, an airplane motor in the front there, the way it sticks out. It might be an airplane motor. <laughs> to be a motor. Yeah. Wow, look at that thing. Yeah, what it's a mean? beautiful machine. It's, uh, I really love it. It doesn't ride as, as soft as a Goldwing, but it, it stops. Uh -huh. The stopping power is unbelievable. And uh, it's very unusual. It was in a James Bond movie oh. when it first came out. In fact, it was the same color he used it. Uh -huh. Is this and, the one they did the stunts on on the front wheel? No? I don't know, he put a helicopter down. I, I'm not sure of the details, but he put a helicopter down with it. And then it was in a, a Goldfinger movie. 
Storm Cruise is on it. Yeah, I really enjoy it. I, I really enjoy it because it's my, my uncle and my godfather. All right, it, it's so. different though. You know, you see all the Harleys here, and you see, you see a lot of Triumphs here, and it's uh, different thing. And uh, not many BMWs. This is probably the first one I've seen here tonight. I got it a little over a year ago, and I put 7,000 miles on it. I haven't had one better problem oh. with it. You're telling me that windshield. How much that windshield cost? Yeah, he told me he spent over a thousand dollars on the Just windshield. Just the windshield. He had three windshields on this bike, but this one, when you're going down the road at 70, 80 mile an hour, there's no turbulence. I think I could wear this hat uh -huh. going down the road that fast. On. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's, it's really nice.